Stuart McConkey here at Titans of CNC. And in this video, we're gonna show you some cool five axis techniques. So there are many different ways to even out the surface of a part. We went ahead and chose this particular way with taking a square shoulder mill and actually turning it on its leading edge to create a nice radius surface for our ball tracking. So to do this tool path, one of the first things that I did is I went ahead and selected Morph in the multi-axis tab. Morph is important because it allows me to pick each side of the face and morph the shape together. So that way I could have a nice blended tool path. As you can see, I selected both of these lines so that way the tool path could understand how the sides of the part turned into each other at the top. So now that I've gone ahead and selected both of my patterns for my morph tool path, I can then go ahead and select my drive surface. And my drive surface is simply going to be this whole entire face because I want the tool to move in the exact same shape and way that this surface is moving upward. This will give me a nice fluid tool path. The only problem is my tool will be completely perpendicular to my selected drive surface. For that, we have a fun little trick. We're going to go to tool axis control and force my tool path to output in five axis code. I will then say that I want my tool to run along my selected drive surface, but give me permission to tilt. This is important because I will actually go ahead and physically tilt the lead cutting edge of my tool and run my tool at radius. This means that my tool will use its outer radius or its corner radius to actually go and cut the drive surface as close as it can with the parameters that I've set. Now that I've gone ahead and selected all of my parameters for my lead and tilt, I can then move on to my collision control. This is an important step when making this tool path because we do want the tool to run perfect to the drive surface, but we also don't want it to cut these outer fillets or this bottom edge. So I'm going to make sure and assign it a collision control strategy. In this collision control strategy, I will make sure to retract the tool whenever I need it to avoid a certain surface. I've gone ahead and selected all of my surfaces that I want to avoid in my check surfaces tab. Now, whenever you use check surfaces, you always want to make sure that you get any surface that the tool might gouge. This is important so that way the tool knows exactly where to go. I've gone ahead and made sure that there was a check thickness of 10 thousandths anywhere on all the edges that I do not want cut. The tool can go over these edges, but it will give me material so that way I could come back and ball track. So now that I have this tool path on one face and I like how it looks, I'm going to go into utility and actually transform this tool path four different times all the way around the outside of my part. The cool thing about doing it in my tool path is I have control on when I actually move from one face to the other.
So as you can see, it's turned out great. This is a really cool tool path and a great technique. If you like this, make sure and hit like and subscribe so that way you can see all future videos from this channel. Stay tuned for our next video where we go through and finish this part.